Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by today. So we're going to look into NiceAsh and see what the manual update is all about. Also, it is a special edition of my free Bitcoin giveaway, Bitcoin Fridays. So stay tuned for details on how you can enter this week's contest. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing, clicking that notification bell, setting all notifications. And if you like this kind of content, hammer those likes. Let's get into it. So I got a notification from NiceHash asking me to manually update my NiceHash miner, which I thought was kind of old. I do have an older version on my NVIDIA rig. So I thought that just was a little bit odd because the NiceHash miner usually automatically updates, but this latest version, if you have an older version, is asking you to manually update. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a live update on that and see if there's anything funky going on there. And like I stated earlier, this is the big giveaway for Bitcoin Friday's Christmas edition. There will be two winners this week, $25 each. So stay tuned for details on how you can enter this week's contest. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the computer and check out what this manual update from NiceHash is all about. All right, so everything I'm talking about as usual will be down below, so don't worry about looking for any of this info. So this is the update I was talking about. NiceHash for miners. Manually upgrade to NiceHash Miner 3.0.5.6, which can be located here. And again, that link will be down below. And it says, Dear NiceHash Miners, in the following days, we're going to perform some systemic upgrades for NiceHash Miner. We recommend you update your NiceHash Miner to the latest version as soon as possible to avoid potential issues. If you are running the 3.0.5.4 or an older version, please manually download the latest version and you can manually download it there. So I thought that was kind of odd. Why would you have to manually update to that version if you have an older one when these older ones have been automatically updating at least uh, for the past few months? I don't know if you guys have noticed that or not. If you happen to be using NiceHash, I've noticed it, it will automatically upgrade to the latest version of the miner and it will create a actual folder in your NiceHash miner folder, whatever your version was. So if we go over to my NVIDIA rig right here and we go ahead and click this little tab right there and we go to about, this should show you what version of NiceHash you are using. As you can see, I got 3.0.5.4. And that's the one they said to manually go ahead and upgrade. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So let me go ahead and close that miner. I've already downloaded the latest version, unzipped it, and here it is right here. So if you go ahead and go into this folder and we just click on NiceHash Miner, it should automatically pull up and begin to load the new version. Of course, you're going to click Accept, Accept, and Next. And of course, you'd have to go ahead and log in. I'll do that real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so it's now downloading all the binaries. Once it's totally done, we'll come back. So far, it doesn't seem like there is anything out of the ordinary. All right, so here we are. It looks pretty much standard, nothing out of the ordinary. So I don't know why it asks you to manually upgrade, but here we are. One thing you want to do is go ahead and put your actual worker in there right there, which is what I normally do. I name my rigs right there, and you should be good to go in mining, except go over to here in settings. And there you go, your actual wallet address is still in there. You wanna make sure your wallet address is in there. Otherwise, you'll be mining to NiceHash for free. All right, so now it's benchmarking. That seems to be pretty painless and uneventful. Again, if you guys have any idea of why they would manually ask you to upgrade to the latest version of the NiceHash miner, let me know down below. It just seemed a little odd because they recently paid off everyone and the whole Bitcoin hack, 4,600 Bitcoin, they finally officially paid that back. And now here, a couple of weeks later, they're asking you to manually upgrade to the latest version of the miner, which I thought was just a little bit odd. I've thought all along that they were skimming just a small amount off the top to pay everyone back. And maybe this manual update takes away that skimming process. So 
So who knows? Let me know down below your guys' thoughts. All right, so now let's go ahead and head over to my website and I'll show you guys how to enter this week's special Christmas edition of Bitcoin Fridays. All right, so here we are at thecryptofish.com. While you're here, as I say every time, make sure you enter your email address right there. Click subscribe just so that I can notify you guys in the future of my future Bitcoin Fridays giveaways. Sometimes YouTube doesn't notify you. This is just another way for me to get in contact with you, let you know the video's out and come over, watch it and enter that week's contest. All right, so here we are, Bitcoin Fridays Christmas giveaway. And as you can see, it's a $25 value to two winners this week. So we are upping the ante. It's usually only $15 to one winner. So that's uh, triple the value split between two winners. And as it is every week, you're just gonna have to answer one question correctly. Again, that's really a no brainer. Once you do that, you're gonna have to enter your name, email address. You're gonna have to go ahead and verify that email address. It will bring you back here where you can get additional entries into the contest by following me on various social media. There will also be a video for you guys to watch to get 50 additional entries into the contest. If you go ahead and watch that video all the way through, it's my future mining profits video. I think you guys will find that interesting. So go ahead and watch that for an additional 50 entries into the contest. Again, that's a no brainer right there. Again, if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe, click that notification bell. If you think somebody else would like this video, feel free to spread the word. I would really appreciate that. And I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate that. And if I don't see you between now and Christmas, Merry Christmas, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.